Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Adrian. This is Pop at 50. This is where we're exploring 21st century music together. We're going back to an artist that we have not seen on the channel uh, but once and a very long time ago at that. Um, M. Beinhold, which is um, an artist that I did like but I didn't I didn't strictly agree with because I have not felt the same things she has felt in the song that we did. That doesn't mean the song was bad. It didn't mean I didn't enjoy it. It doesn't mean it was artistic. It means at the time I listened to it, maybe I wasn't listening to it as fully as I could with, like, my freaking heart. You know what I'm saying? But um, today we got one, two, three, four, five. And before we get into it, I want you to pop on down to the description. Check out all the links there particularly the patreon at patreon.com slash super macho jedi knight where you will find amazing exclusives like all the early stuff you'll get it everything i put on youtube you will find earlier there when you join uh, fast tracked requests at any tier you can ask for something and i will produce it and release it far sooner than anything from the youtube comments because there's 10 trillion youtube comments and i can never get to them all additionally there is now a monthly long form. It could be 15 minutes. It could be an entire concert. It could be a full-length documentary about an artist. But you'll get one, one a month at any tier. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be great. You won't get it anywhere else. I do reserve the right to release them uh, a minimum of a year later, though. So, anyway... Let's get into it, because I'm sure this one's going to be much more fun than the last one. <laughs> Sounds very 60s. Like, girl from Ipanema kind of 60s. One computer, fuzzy blanket, moldy food, one person banquet, hear the laugh in every picture, Polaroid that I've got hanging over the piano that I can't play, cause... I'm too depressed today. Well, it's better than not being able to play it because you can't play it at all. I have zero music education. I can't play a triangle. <laughs> my neighbor's screams are deafening. And okay. my neighbor's screams are deafening, so I've Ooh. got the music passing through the skin, the floor, the mattress, light the candle, hope it passes, smell the one plant I can't believe I kept alive. <laughs> You know what? Sometimes that's all you need is one tiny victory and then you can keep moving on. Isn't that isn't that right? Wow. That cadence was a little weird, but okay. That was pretty banging right there. I, I enjoyed that. <laughs> a little bit. Not a whole lot. I like how you don't decide that you can actually develop a skill and you instantly have to go with either the completely unethical crap or the most boring stuff in the world. You couldn't actually, like, fix computers or make computers or go into aerospace engineering or anything like that it's immediately i'm a pop star i'm an asshole or i'm boring come on guys there's a lot more to life than that whatever the hell that means oh, you need a hug you right? i do no I'm sure a bunch of us share those feelings, but I'd rather it come out in an energetic way with fun lyrics that rhyme and and bring it to the forefront without making you want to just slink away under the desk. 
Yeah, I had to learn that. I'm not really kidding either. I had to learn that. Although not by this method. That was a pretty great song. That computer is older than she is, though, I feel. <laughs> that was a pretty great song. That had a lot of energy. It had a lot of feeling. It was much more in line with um, finding a way to have a better day than the last one. So I'm going to call that five. Yeah, I enjoyed that immensely. I don't strictly agree with the I can be boring or I can be a criminal and that's the only two choices you got, but whatever, dude. <laughs> Keep popping, babies.